and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some four color planeswalkers in historic. We've played this deck one other time and it was a lot of fun. So let's bring it back. Um, we did have a mono white life gain deck that we that we had up here before if you were watching one of the previous videos. Um, that we're going to be moving because that was a donation deck. The person that donated for it wasn't here today. So we're going to move that to tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, let's, so we're just kind of, you know, choosing another deck to play. This deck is, is all about activating lots of Planeswalkers, um, all the time. We have, Oth this is an Otha Teferi deck, if you don't know this legendary enchantment. So, um, what it says is basically, uh, when it enters the battlefield, return, uh, or exile another permanent you control and then bring it, put it back, uh, into play at, at your end step. I'll talk about why that's really cool here in a second. But the main thing is that you get to activate loyalty abilities of your Planeswalkers twice each turn rather than once. So all these things, you know, you can you can tick up Teferi twice and draw two cards. Um, and then at your end step, you'll untap four lands, that kind of stuff. So what our combo is, is, you know, that, that makes Nicol Bolas Dragon God just even better, though. Because, you know, like Nicol Bolas' tick up, draw a card, then they have to exile something. Well, if you do that again, then they have to exile two things. That's pretty brutal, having to exile either two cards from their hand or permanents they control. Um, of course, you know, imagine they don't kill your Nicol Bolas, then you get to do that, you know, do that again the next turn. That makes that's like super brutal. But our infinite combo is if we have the oath and if we have a Jason play, because if Jace is minus five, Jace is minus five says create two tokens that are copies of Jace, except they're not legendary. That that how it says they're copies of Jace, that's just kind of like a placeholder. I mean so like Nicol Bolas gains all the loyalty abilities. So now, so if Jace is in play, Nicol Bolas has minus five, create two, two copies of Nicol Bolas. So if you can act, it starts, Nicol Bolas starts at four. So if you can activate twice, you tick up, go to five, and then you do the minus five and you just make two more Nicol Bolases. Each one of them, you can tick up, go to five, and then make two more copies. And you can just do that infinitely. Um, and so you basically just get rid of all of their cards in hand, all of their permanents they control. And then you start doing that, but then making two twos. And then so then you can just flood the board with two twos and just do that before you mill out. And they have no no battlefield, no cards in hand. Um, and that's pretty crazy. All right, last thing to kind of point out is that uh, we're a Fires of Invention deck, of course. So we can do this um, all the time. Like we can just win on turn five if we just have Jason play. And then we, you know, we have Fires, then turn five, we can just drop Oath and drop Nicol Bolas. Oath is awesome with fires, though. because So think about fires. You get to play two spells a turn, but you don't use your mana, right? So you get to just like play two spells. Your second one of those two spells is Oath of Teferi. Oath of Teferi flickers the fires of invention and, and exiles it and then returns fires back at end step. But then since it exiles fires, now you have all your mana. You could just play more spells. <laughs> so, you, so like even like turn five, you can play like four, you can play like three or four spells on turn five. You know, you can play like Nicol Bolas and then Oath of Teferi, exile the fires. And then, you know, you play like some other, you know, play a couple more things. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Okay. All right, uh, but so let's let's do it. That's what our deck's about. Here we go. Our deck's pretty evil. We should probably change our avatar to be Teferi because our deck's pretty this mean. Isn't a fight you can win. All right, let's go play some ranked in historic with four color planeswalkers. All right, and we're playing against a spicy pair. I think we're going to need more lands than zero. All right, there we go. <clears throat> um. All right, well. We'll just start with three lands, a ritual, and a Teferi. Yeah, the life gain deck, the person that donated for it is not here. So we're I'm moving it to tomorrow. They were not they were not here. The life gain from these beacons can be pretty valuable.
black mana. It's tapped black mana. Fires of Invention would be our best draw. Fires of Invention would be really nice to draw right about now. Ooh, that's one combo card. Okay. So do I want to tuck that with Teferi or kill it with Nicol Bolas? Or neither. Nah, I should probably do one of those. Let's go tuck with Teferi. No, kill with Bolas. Oh, oh, your existence is pointless. Oh no. Alright, mess it up. I should have gone tuck with Teferi and then have Bolas kill this, because I, I do not want them to redraw the Questing Beast, but that's just where they're at. They're just going to redraw Questing Beast. Here in a few turns. I was thinking I didn't want them to redraw that other haste creature. But yeah, I definitely regret. Definitely wish I would have tucked this and killed the beast. Oh my gosh. Questing Beast is probably the best card in the entire format against me. I'm not gonna lie. It's just I don't really have good removal for Questing Beast at all. We were talking about it earlier. It's just... It's really difficult to deal with that thing. Um, Let us begin. Can't block it. I'm always a step ahead. Let's think this through. Good hand. Bunch of questing beasts. So I'll have a couple more uh, noxious grass. So we'll have three noxious grass. That's about it's about what I got as good removal spells for for questing beast. Hmm. Ego questing beast. It's not the worst idea. Not the worst idea.
All right, let's try this. Hey, new guy. Um, yeah, if you want the Demir list, it's in on the Stream Decker page there. I guess I should update the stream tile too. What are all these mulligans? All right, we got a plan. I'm gonna put this back. No, we'll just play this. Um. Yeah, like there's Yeah, the the Theros, yeah, Theros is looking pretty strong. I'm not sure if it's going to be as strong as Throne of Eldraine. But yeah, it's looking real good. I didn't put back a land, did I? No. Our deck didn't look so great this this match. Mold of five both games. Opponents just playing their curve out gruel and curving out. Alright, let's try not mulling to five and try not having the opponent curve out into all these questing beasts. Try both of those. I'm gonna play infinite nickel boluses. All right, so we have we have uh, three lands and four spells. That's just too enticing for me to ship after mulling to five two times in a row. I need a red mana source to be able to play Fires of Invention. And then we're off to the races with Fires of Invention. All right, I'm going to go ahead and Othakaya... Oh, the Kaya that. Because now maybe I can play Karn before Ritual of Set. So they have five power in play. Could have another Benelish Marshal that kills the Karn. I have faced worse than the likes of you. Yay, they gave me the land I wanted. But if they do have another Benelish Marshal, then we'd have the set. <clears throat> Johnny Adversary of Tyrants would be like the worst card for me to see. Dub. Uh, 
<laughs> Incoming questing Vs. Wait, what? But they didn't they didn't kill Karn? I'll make use of that later. I don't know why they didn't kill Karn. Nothing is ever truly lost. I don't know. I don't know. We're playing ranked. Alright, more ritual of set. More Noxious Grasp against Mono White. Um, not sure if we really need more Moment of Cravings. Probably not. We're going to take out Elder Spell, a Jace, and just a Time Raveler. I guess Narset. Yeah, Chandra wouldn't be wouldn't be too bad. I think we should be fine though whenever we get get there. <laughs> Moment of craving, the worst card for Weight Watchers. Yeah, we need the anti dub tech. I like Demir Mill more than Demir Control, I think. Um I like. I think that it's easier to get rid of the 60 cards in the library than it is the 20 life with the control deck. Ooh, blue mana. You, there you go. Yeah, you don't have to do the ex, you don't have to type card. Stroud, you just type the card name. So if they have planeswalker, we can kill the planeswalker with grasp. We're going to cast Sit this next turn, so I don't have to Sit right now. Alright, we'll just kill it, though. Save me from taking a lot of damage. And Teferi will bounce Othakaya. Working out well for us. Let's try this. I can just cast Ritual so next turn to take these out. I don't I don't really mind that they're killing Teferi. I'm playing four color planeswalkers. That's some really cool art. Sarah Disciple. Do they have Unbreakable Formation? That'd be kind of cool. Uh, 
indestructible. Do 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 do. All right, so we're gonna attack for four next turn. So cannot kill the dragon god. I just want to draw Oath of Teferi. So we're at four cards in library as far as flipping Ascanta is concerned. Ascanta, obviously, Ascanta fires is, is another huge combo. And you just get to use your mana activating uh, fires of invention. Acquisition. That'll go. That's a. Uh, that's a. That's another Teferi. Historic is. I do like how much faster the mat, the games in Historic last than the games in Standard. So even like the control decks can finish games out pretty fast. You know, we played two matches in 21 minutes, and that was after me spending like four minutes talking about the uh, the deck. Um, Conti, if you had to pick one to 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 go especially it's safer to do the the control deck with the new set coming out there's a better chance the control deck will will stay will be better moving forward dun, dun, dun. All right, do not want to see Soren. No Soren. And no Adanto Vanguard. You know what? Just don't play anything. <laughs> just play, just have five lands. All right, that's fine. Yep, yep, that's a good one, Conti. No, not Soren. So I need a blue or a red land, either blue or red, to cast Dragon God to kill Soren. I bestow a mighty curse. Okay. It's not bad. Boo. I'm known for my excellence. No, I am not making this up as I go. That's the best land. Interplanar Beacon.
Kill the fairy. Ah, oh, darn. Alright, speaking of Teferi, we need to draw Oath of Teferi. Never mind. We got game one. Alright, this is definitely a moment of craving matchup because of Adanto Vanguard. Um, and then the extra set. I'm not sure if. Like, Noxious Grasp. Basically doesn't kill stuff. It kills, you know, like the two mana lord. That's kind of about it. I'll keep the elder spell. Just kind of do the same cyborg we've been doing. Trimming down a Jason and our set. Yeah. Here, I'll I'll find I'll find it for you. Um Fairies can slow the, the games down. Here you go. Here's here's the, you know, besides the, we just played the mill deck. There's the link to the, like, regular control deck that's not the mill deck. You can watch, watch that gameplay there. As far as the, the mill version, you know, you can kind of, you can watch them both. There's, there's the mill version and see, you know, maybe one you like more, but. I need red mana, not blue mana. I need red mana for Fire's Invention. This isn't a fight you can win. This might be a bad idea. Looks like they were all in on the Adanto Vanguard plan. The games are going fast. <laughs> yeah, Vanguard was a great card. So I'm glad that's why I play like all these. Moment of cravings. You're welcome, Conti. You're welcome. Well, again, keep. I think I want to keep all these lands. Just keeping the three lands is kind of risky. This looks like another questing beast deck, which I don't like at all. Hopefully not. Hopefully no questing beasts. This thing have hexproof? What? How does this thing have hexproof? Ball. 
already lost. You just don't know it yet. What am I supposed to do about this thing? Oh, come on. Yeah, this is like four drop mythics that are really good against Ritual of Sit. <laughs> Dot deck. Uh, I guess Chandra come in to try to kill something. I don't know. And I'm going to be trying to kill the mana creatures and slow them down, I guess. I don't know. No, never mind, Chandra, you get out of here. Yeah, like, all their stuff's... Yeah, so... Uh, Questing Beast is tough, and then Null Height Ferox? Even more tough. Yeah, you can pay two mana to remove Hexproof. I didn't have anything that would kill it anyway. I could bounce with the fairy that cost five mana. I was already dead. Yeah, gotta kill these. Gotta kill these land war elves. So I should probably just minus three to fairy there, because questing beast. Okay, good. Not not questing beast. Don't worry. Land. Okay, good. Yeah, Teferi sounds pretty suspicious over there, doesn't he? He's like, trust me, trust me, trust me. Pretty suspicious. Which cannot protect itself. Harness the elements. Doesn't look good. They have their threats are a little too difficult to deal with. Yeah, I think Clarion would just be kind of hard to cast. Honestly, you could really use like some real wraths, you know, like some Kaya's wraths, you know, something like that, like a, a real wrath. But the thing is, like Kaya's wraths, you're basically not casting it unless you have Fires of Invention. Well, they didn't. Yeah, they didn't play a land, so they only have three now. So we know they're drawing Nissa, Nissa, and yeah, if they, if they don't have lands, they're just drawing. They they don't get to play stuff now.
Yeah, we could have a Wrath in the sideboard. That's that's very true. Instead of having the fourth Ritual set in the sideboard, we could have just like a regular Wrath in the sideboard that we grab with Mastermind's acquisition. When you got a Fios. Darn, I can't kill Llanowar Elf. They get turn one Llanowar Elf all three games. Broken. Broken. I'm playing Searchers, can't they're playing Questing Beast. Or not. Good. Okay. I still have a shot. Never mind. I'll be back, just like before. We had a shot. play a star of extinction we're just usually dead by you know like seven mana is a lot of mana yeah vivian reed is so awesome that was a card I was right about. Previous season, I was definitely right about that one. The wilds are my shield. I have other plans. This does look like a very good anti-control. Does look like a very good anti-control green deck. I can longer stand by. That's more like it. All right, two and two. Just, just an amazing hand there. You know, from turn one land war elf. You know, jade light, rex age. Then the Vivian read and then dropping a bunch of questing. You know, that's just awesome. I'm jealous. I'm jealous. All about that turn one Llanowar Elf. I had that all three games. <clears throat> all right, Ascanta should hopefully help us hit land drops. Ooh. Mono blue. No.
doesn't seem like the cards at Teferi Bounce. Templar! And I'm not sure about Teferi Tick Up either. Yeah, so this looks like Wizards. I haven't played against Wizards in a while. You get that Wizards Lightning up in there. Ooh, give me that. Boo. So I put the Isolated Chapel in the graveyard, even though it was a fifth land and we, you know, we need a fifth land. Because I thought it was good, it wasn't be that difficult to get a fifth land. Because I also need cards in the graveyard for Ascanta. And yeah, I would rather find like a Ritual of Sut, for example. Get out of here. Get out of here. Thank you need to slow down. I'll protect you. Oh, they don't have arc lightning. Chandra's Pyro Helix. Let's do one damage to each of these. Sure. No, I had to move the life gain deck to tomorrow. Let your weak minds Keep up the pace. crumble. That's more like it. Equal choice. Give me the Jace. Give me the Jace. Boo. Yeah, Fires is pretty busted. So they're playing the Trickster then because of Teferi Time Raveler. I'm getting I'm casting ritual set first so they don't um my internet is without Let's skip to the good part. So they don't they can't exile one of those Couldn't find Oath of, Oath of Teferi. We had the Oath of Kaya. We couldn't find Oath of Teferi. All right, Moment of Craving in Noxious Grasp out. Um, Chandra is uncounterable and kills their stuff. Uh, am I just gonna give up on the dream? I mean, this is not a good Jace matchup. Uh, am I just giving up on the dream of casting or getting Infinite Bolus? This time, we did last time. Because I kind of want to play Duress. Yeah, we still have Acquisition that can... We still have Acquisition that can go grab... Um, Jace. So we could still have Infinite Jace. <laughs> Sexy Jason, no. 
it's still it, we still have two two of them in. We got the we got the acquisitions. There's still a chance. Man, I don't want them to spell pierce the moment of craving. If I duress, I could just have like a couple of counter spells. Get two lever rudder. Got some legions ends up in here. Nailed it. All right, we're looking good. Stabilized. Yeah, this is going to be like five matches in like 45 minutes. So that's pretty good. Ooh. Well, I'm killing that thing first. I don't know what I want to go with this acquisition yet. No counter spells for you. Maru Meha. I should be bouncing the Othakaya probably. But I don't want them. I don't want them killing my Teferi because I don't want stuff getting countered. Alright, three and two. Alright, so we went three and two. We went XO versus non questing beast, OX versus questing beast. You know, we could have. You know, we could really try to line up with better removal there. I mean, like Vras's Contempt, I guess could be could be one. Um, it's just there's a lot of as we saw there, we played against three other small creature aggro decks. There's a lot of small creature aggro decks, and so having versatile removal for those small creature decks is important too. So I just have the one Noxious Grass in the main, two more Noxious Grass in the board, and then of course our five mana to fairy, five mana Nickel Bolas. Those answer it as well. And we can team up, you know, we could team up in Othakaya and a moment of craving. Um It's possible I have two like you know, like we could play like a Kaya's Wrath over in the sideboard instead of like, you know, maybe we don't need three to rest, three Ashiok, two ego. All that kind of stuff. We probably don't need all of that. Probably don't need egos, honestly. Ego's our best tool against Nexus. Like, it's like the, the card you kind of need against Nexus. We don't need the Chandra. Let's be real. We don't need Chandra. All right, so one Kaya's Wrath over there. If we have fires, we can go, we can go grab it with Mastermind's Acquisition. Could play at that at that point we're gonna have five lands right like we're not gonna just have four lands so we could just do Nova because then Nova can destroy all artifacts and enchantments against Nexus. 
Enter the God Eternals is very good, isn't it? Maybe we just play it and enter the God Eternals over here. That's true. Enter the God Eternals is very good. Oh no. Yeah, Matthew, good best of luck there. Okay, but there we go. There's four color planeswalkers. Pretty fun deck. Uh, we didn't get to play that wide a variety of matches there with our five matches. It was still a pretty fun deck to play. Um, you know, especially if you, you like activating Planeswalkers. Uh, this is the deck for you. Um, yeah, that's, that's kind of what we got here. Didn't get to go infinite this time. The last time we played it, though, if you're watching this on YouTube, you know, go to, like, the, the playlist. Go to the historic playlist. Um you know, kind of scroll down, go to the four color planeswalkers. The last time we played it, um, we did get to, uh, I'm pretty sure we went five Oh last time. Pretty sure we did. And, um, we did get to, uh, do infinite bolus a couple of times there. All right, there we go. Four color planeswalkers. So, uh, we're going to do the special overcooked two stream. Now, if we can get that set up. So those of y'all watch on YouTube, hope you can check that out too. Um, and of course, hit that like button and leave those comments. But thank you so much for watching some Four Color Planeswalkers, and I'll see you for the next video.